If a picture may be worth a thousand words, without proper image SEO, they might not say much to search engines. Site visitors tend to make snap judgments in the blink of an eye. Studies show that customers decide whether to explore or leave your website in three seconds or less. This amount of time makes it hard to pull in new visitors with a well-written copy or great offers alone. In this video, we will dive deep into intricacies of image SEO to ensure your visuals look great and rank high on search engines. Let's get started. Your website's success relies on your marketing strategy. Visual content is a big part of that. Websites already using custom visual content see conversion rates seven times higher than sites without a well-implemented visual aid. Using visual content, you can communicate more effectively with your visitors while creating a more appealing site that encourages further engagement. So here are the 12 quick image SEO tips to boost your site's performance. Your website needs to load within two seconds to retain visitors. Therefore, Google added page speed to the list of their ranking factors. How can you speed up your site's loading time? Images take up storage space on your website, so you need to resize your images to optimize them. If you're using WordPress, try installing a plugin for speed optimization like WP Smush to resize images. Another way to optimize images is to compress said files. But finding a balance between file size and image quality is essential. You've got to consider things like content gradients and how intricate those details are. The quickest way to compress images is to use tools like TinyPNG. It's a versatile tool that handles PNG, WebP, and JPEG formats. Just drop your image and the tool will reduce its size for you. Adding alt text is an excellent SEO strategy since it helps Google better understand your site's content. From the user side, alt text makes your website more accessible to people using a screen reader to navigate web pages. Install a WordPress plugin like Access Widget for an even smoother experience. It's an AI-based tool that automatically checks your images and generates alt text. Ensure your alt text describes the image, covering its message, context, and everything else that requires attention. Oh, and keep it under 125 characters. Don't forget to include a target keyword in the alt text if possible. For Google to rank your site pages in search results, it must first crawl all those pages. Having an XML sitemap acts like GPS for Google's web crawlers. An XML sitemap is a digital roadmap that tells Google which pages on your site to index. If you want to optimize your site's images, create an image sitemap. An image sitemap is a specific type of XML sitemap that exists specifically to help Google crawl images on your website. Depending on your website platform and preferences, there are several ways to create an image sitemap. Use tools like Screaming Frog, Yoast SEO, or Google Search Console to generate an automatic image sitemap. You can also manually create an image sitemap by following Google guidelines and examples. Before adding visual files to your site, ensure you've chosen an SEO-friendly image format. JPEGs are often more SEO-friendly than PNGs, especially if you do not need transparent background, as they offer better compression levels. However, Google's recent research showed that WebP files achieve an average of 30% more compression than JPEG all while keeping your image quality intact. So go for the WebP format to shorten your loading times. If you need to convert your images to other formats, use such tools as Conversio or Squash. Descriptive file names help you and search engines quickly locate images. That's because correctly named files provide context about those images, increasing their chances of ranking in the image search. Default camera assigned names don't cut it for Google's bots. Something like shoes image one doesn't say much, but how about Nike tangent shoes pink white? 
now we are talking. Drop in some details such as product name or brand when saving images. Oh, and try not to use underscores. White-shirt.jpg instead of white underscore shirt.jpg. As for keywords, Google Search Console should be your trusty sidekick. Use it to review your search analytics and the queries that include your products. It will help you learn what customers type into search engines while looking for a specific product you offer. Responsive images ensure smooth sailing no matter the screen size. This approach enhances user experience by eliminating the need for zooming or horizontal scrolling, making it easier for users to navigate and consume your content. Size attributes for your images and videos are the way to avoid those jarring screen shifts. However, responsive images must use the same aspect ratio to help web browsers calculate the correct amount of required space to display. The source set attribute in HTML serves different image files for different screen size and resolutions. This method will help you to optimize the viewing experience for all website visitors. If your website heavily relies on visual content, add the lazy loading functionality. Usually, when someone visits a site, it loads all the images at once. But if you have many hefty images, that can slow things down significantly. Lazy loading tells your site to only load images currently on the screen. Placeholder images replace the rest and only load when it's on screen again. Try the Lazy Load by WP Rocket plugin. It's a powerful yet lightweight plugin with scripts weighing less than 10 kilobytes. This plugin takes care of all the visual assets on your site, including avatars, thumbnails, iframes, YouTube videos, and so much more. When you're scanning an article, what catches your eye? Headlines, images themselves, and you're correct, captions below them. Image captions are strings of text that accompany images on the page. If you look at the pictures of an article, that will be the text in the gray box below each one. So, do you need to add captions to every image? The answer is no. It's all about the purpose it serves. If it will help your visitor, go for it. The key is always to think about your visitors first and not add captions just for the sake of SEO. If you're using WordPress as your CMS, you only need to add your image caption in the block editor. Simply click on your image and enter the caption under the field below the image as shown here. Using a content delivery network to serve static content can significantly improve your website performance. A CDN uses a network of data centers scattered worldwide instead of a single server handling all the heavy lifting. CDNs cache and deliver content from nearby locations, reducing the distance data travels and speeding up your site. With an image-specific CDN, you can cut your image payload by up to 80% without sacrificing quality. An image-based CDN can work well if you manage a dynamic website like an e-commerce shop or frequently upload new images. A few of the most popular image CDN providers you can try are Cloudflare and ImageKit. Now let's talk logos and computer-generated graphics. When it comes to these digital files, you should use vector-based file formats like SVGs. Using SVG comes with the added advantage of getting better search engine results. Unlike other formats that give basic alt info, SVGs use actual text in their formatting, meaning search engines can read them effortlessly. Keywords and descriptions are defined in XML text files, making them search engine friendly. So, what does this mean for your SEO? Google loves SVG content, whether it's standalone files or something embedded into your HTML. From a user's point of view, a website with missing images screams unprofessional and untrustworthy. 
that leads to a high bounce rates negatively impacting brand reputation. Search engines aren't too thrilled with this issue either. They see it as a sign of poor overall quality and lack of proper user experience, which can swiftly kick your site down the rankings ladder. The easiest way to detect broken images on your WordPress website is by using a plugin. One such plugin is the Screaming Frog SEO Spider. With this plugin, you can scan your site's internal and external links for broken links and images. You can take a few different approaches to counter the issue of broken images. For example, you can simply delete the faulty images altogether or try to rename and restore them afterward. Geotag images play an important role in local searches. When someone searches for a specific location, geotagged images of that location can pop up in the results. Geotagged images give Google a better idea of your website or web page and how it relates to a particular location. This can help your website rank higher for relevant local search terms. There are a lot of ways to add geotags to your photos. You can use photo editing software like Adobe Photoshop or dedicated geotagging tool like GeoIMGR. With tools like GeoIMGR, you only need to upload your image. If you go for the premium version, you can type the name or address of the place and it will automatically pull up the longitude and latitude coordinates. However, in the free version, you can still add the coordinates manually. Congratulations! You've just upgraded your knowledge of image SEO. Now it's your turn to put this valuable information into action. If you found this guide helpful, remember to hit the like button and share it with your fellow website owners. Also, if you need further guidance to practice WordPress website SEO, check out other Hostinger Academy videos. Stay tuned for more SEO tips and tricks by subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.